Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today's gospel reminds us once again of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel of today signifies the encounter of Mary Magdalene with the Lord risen and placed amongst us. Mary Magdalene standing outside the tomb with profound emotions weeping and a heart heavy with grief over the loss of her beloved Lord. Little does she know that her tears of sadness will be transformed into tears of joy. For that moment, she encountered the risen Lord. But something remarkable happens. Even as Mary stands face to face with her beloved teacher, she does not recognize him. She mistakes him to be the gardener. It's a moment filled with symbolism. How often do we in our lives fail to recognize the presence of the Lord amongst us? How often are our own eyes blinded with the sorrows of the world, the distractions and the difficulties we face in our daily lives. Jesus' words to Mary are an important and play a significant meaning in our gospel today. Do not hold on to me. It is as if Jesus reminds us to not hold on to him. His presence is not confined to the physical realm. It is not to be grasped and he is held on to the fleeting moments of life. Rather, his presence is to be felt in the depths of our hearts, in the quiet moments of our prayer, and in the face of those who we encounter in our daily life. Indeed, just as Mary failed to recognize Jesus when her eyes were clouded with tears, so we too to fail to recognize Him with the hearts are weighed down by the cares of the world. But the good news is that Jesus always is present. Even when we fail to recognize Him, He walks alongside us in our joys and in our sorrows and in our triumph and in our struggles. So let us heed to Jesus' words to Mary and not cling unto him as if we are some distant memory. Instead, let us open our hearts to his presence and be aware of him present in our daily life. Let us seek him in the face of our neighbors, in the beauty of the creation around us and in the silence of our own hearts. In this Easter week, let us celebrate the victory of our Lord risen over sin and death. Let us rejoice in the reality of His resurrection and in the promise it holds for each one of us every day of our lives. May we, like Mary Magdalene, be ever attentive to the presence of the Lord amongst us, knowing that He walks always with us, guiding us and strengthening us in our journey of faith. My dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude this short reflection, we shall conclude it with a prayer. Loving Lord, thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is risen and present amongst us. Help us not to go out of our desires to cling to the encounter or instead open our hearts to recognize your presence at the moment of our lives. May we walk with confidence, knowing that you, the risen Lord, are always with us, guiding us and leading us into a deeper relationship and a deeper communion with you and your Father. Amen.